Hey guys, welcome to another review. Today it's all about the Coco Palm Shisha Coals from Germany. Um, I have this in a three kilogram package right here. Um, as always, they come in, in a wrapper, three wrappers, um, one containing one kilogram of natural coals. Standard sizing, um, this is the way they look. And they're pressed really nicely, um, very firm, um, very compact, um, not a lot of gravel in them. Um, and um, what I especially like about them, let's go ahead and just sharpen the image. Um, what I really, really like about them is, is the, um, that they don't um, smell harshly or badly. Um, when you light them on, on your burner or your, I don't know, blazing burner, whatever you have. Um, because, um, well, they, because they don't smell. And, uh, since I light them inside my room, um, I don't like to have like this tense smell afterwards before I start smoking. You guys can see them on, on the, probably on the uh, left hand side of the screen there. I'm um, set up on the Brohood Phoenix. Um, and I must say I absolutely love them one they're they're both on like the top ranks um, this calls really up on the the, the top ranks of uh, the uh, coals right now that you can get in the German market um, for me um, as good as the Starbest Coco Buzz 2.0. Um, if you do have the chance to get them, go ahead and try those out. I really, really appreciate the, uh, these ones. Um, and I really have to give a recommendation for them because they're really, really good. Um, I'm not going to compare them to other producers because I think it's not, it's not fair for them to be downgraded. Um, everybody has to like make their own has to make up their own mind about them but um, I for myself have to say one place one and uh, they're gonna share them with uh, the Starbucks Cocoa Buzz 2.0 they're basically no difference between those two um, except that the Starbucks is a bit smaller and a bit more compact and it kind of burns to the middle and the ash doesn't fall off. But except that um, the coals are identical for me. Um, these are a bit hotter than the other ones. They produce more heat. Um, but if you, in, in terms of heat regulation, if you do um, smoke considerably and don't overheat your, your uh, bowls, you're not gonna have a problem. So go ahead and try that. Um, and on that note, I'm just gonna give a recommendation. I don't give points for coals anymore. I used to do that, but I don't do it anymore because I don't think it's reasonable. Either the coal is good and it's recommendable or it's not good, not good, then it's not recommendable. But there's no point. I don't see a point in, a, in giving grades for it. So um, I'm not gonna go, gonna go that way. Uh, but I do give a recommendation. Try those out. If you have the chance, give it a shot. <sighs> Been doing way too much talking, not enough smoking. Um, and they're absolutely taste-free, so you don't have any any taste coming through. Just pure tobacco right in your face. It's really nice. Yeah, so on that note, give us a like, give us a subscription, and I will hopefully see you guys in another review. See you then.